This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, memory heart. And cheers to you, listeners and watchers. <laughs> I just turned into Frasier. <laughs> oh. I felt kind of good. Look at you drinking hot tea. I made, and in the evening. I made a hot tea. Yeah. I brought it with me from my house. Wow. Look at this dedication to health this year. Wait, what What flavors are we talking? It's called Sweet Tangerine Ooh. Positivity Tea. It should be positivity, but... Is it not? It's not. It's not. So I'm sure someone has that copy written somewhere. I'm Jay Shetty. Jay <laughs> Shetty. Does it, yeah. He has a tea company now. Oh, what doesn't he have? Yeah, I think he has like a canned tea company. His and so the fact that he didn't name it that, I know, Jay Shetty? Jay Shetty. I don't remember anyone's name. And I've never, and I know his name. Jay Shetty. I mean, what do you expect someone with that name to do with their lives? Not anything positive. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, he sounds like he should be giving away like Lotus cars in every video. You yeah, know, he sounds like yeah. he should be Dober King. Like the name's Jay Shetty. Like, uh, yeah, it does sound like that. It sounds like, uh, yeah, that he goes to um, what the CrossFit yeah games or something crossfit games oh i've watched the documentary for the crossfit games multiple times this most recent one is not as interesting wait is it just like the top crossfitters yeah. competing it's all of these crossfitters you competing. said the most recent one there's more than one they make one every year for this event Whoa. yeah i forget exactly what it's called i think it's just crossfit games yeah i watched the first one well the first one that i watched i'm sure there's a billion of them that i haven't seen was like on a plane years ago when you're look, looking for something to watch on the plane grace i thought you meant the crossfit games were on the plane oh. and i was like they changed <laughs> locations they were lifting a plane i was like this is crazy <laughs> but it's really interesting this last one was kind of boring but the first one i watched i remember being so enamored maybe i've said oh. this before on the podcast by how positive everyone is oh and the way that they run the games is they have like i don't know 15 events or something over the course of like three or four days and they don't know the event until they get it gets announced like an hour before they compete in it because oh. they're all different variations of all these different CrossFit uh, exercises, yeah. I guess, that they do. Lots of handstands and stuff. It's like yeah. absolutely silly things. But these insanely ripped people are doing this stuff and making it look so easy. Um yeah, so that's what I get into, but it's not uh, it's not super thrilling. I've there wasn't heard, a lot of drama. I don't, I mean, I don't want to offend any of our listeners, but like, I don't think you guys are that in shades. But so I'll say, I'll say. Oh, that's offensive. I'm just saying like, I, I'm just saying like, do we have a bunch of CrossFitters where I'm about to offend? Like, do people have their lives together enough to do CrossFit and also listen to us? Tim does CrossFit. Tim, he does? shout out. I know you're listening to this. I didn't this. mean to offend anyone. I'm just like, if yeah. you have a sense of humor and you're that in shape, good for fucking you. Yeah. Uh, the, I think. <laughs> I didn't that's mean a, it that bad. <laughs> that's the fascinating thing to me is that CrossFit has never crossed my mind of like mm -mm. an exercise to do, but it is really silly. And I think that's why I love it is that they're doing all these really silly like handstand push-ups and like contorting their bodies in different ways and lifting like very ridiculous things. Mm. Uh, and so that part of it and the community is like so supportive of each well, no, other. But that's why I think that's why I'm saying I think yeah. it might be a little cultish. Yeah. I mean, any group of anything could be cultish. That's true. <laughs> I, hear, I hear it's the same thing with jujitsu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My other brother does jujitsu. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it's really into jujitsu. Grace, are I'm you the what? outlier? No, what physical fitness cult are you going to join? Oh my God, what should I get into? Should I, I get really into Pilates? No, well, well, I have some Pilates stories this week. Oh, I can't wait to hear them. I Because you invite me to go, which I appreciate. Yes. And please don't stop doing that because I, I do want to go. I get so nervous. Really? Because I remember doing it the one time with you a couple years ago mm. and being like, okay, I did that. But now I have no idea again how to use any of the equipment. It seems like a very complicated Nord Nordic track no, on the ground. But here's the deal. And it's not like I, I'm a thousand percent faking till I make it. Yeah. The thing I like about it is while I like a dance class and I like a thing, I like that people are only pay attention, uh, paying attention to themselves. Right. There's See, no moment where they're going to be like, and what's that everybody freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> because that, I mean, just the word freestyle yeah. like gives me anxiety. Like when, yeah. when you're in a dance class and then they're like, all right, next four count, just 
show, show me what you got. I'm yeah. like, no, <laughs> no. I came here to follow what you're doing, not to like approve my moves. Uh-huh. Like I'm in like auditioning for Diddy right now. And isn't it strange that the swimming stroke is called freestyle when it's specifically one type of stroke that is you it? do? I, when I was when just saying this, this one, the overhead <laughs> That's just swimming, right? Swimming, yeah, but it's called freestyle. I thought I think I thought when swimming was freestyle, they could do butterfly back. I thought it really was like just whoever's the fucking fastest. That's why it's misleading. Okay. No, freestyles are the worst in any type of exercise class. At even like our friend Jacqueline and Dave, they've been taking this hot yoga class. Oh. And Jacqueline's like, you do like series of poses and you do it twice. And then they're like, okay, for the next Uh 10 minutes just freestyle like do poses that feel good and she was like my husband just does child pose and like goes to sleep i'm like that's that's what i would do if i could do that in a dance class (laughs) i would yeah exactly it's also like for yoga that puts a lot of pressure on what to yeah. what moves other than child's pose and yeah. down dog do I know how to do? Yeah, fine. I'll just reach my arms out and kind of bend over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do something that hurts a little. Yeah. And hopefully it's named after a tree. <laughs> um no, I will keep inviting you, but I haven't been able to, you know, I've been on this now fit and f- fit as fucking f- by 40 journey. Now that's what I call fitness. Now that's what I call. 40. Now that's what I call she's fit as fuck <laughs> at 40. Um but so I had been exercising more but then Grace hmm. I did something crazy to my back last week. Oh yeah, what happened? Oh my god. I don't know. People are like, "Well, wh- what did you do?" And I'm like, "I don't know because I had a totally normal day." Uh-huh. I was like didn't work out at all or maybe like walked on a treadmill sure uh was chilling gets to be nighttime i go to take the dogs for a walk i come back and then i like just all of a sudden i'm like ow my back hurts a little Uh and then over the course of the next like hour Mm -hmm. it felt like Stabby, stabby. Oh, no. It was full Peaky Blinders in my lower left back. I'm getting sympathy. I know, right? Pains I know, I know. Like, Should I break ow, out the snail, the, the back <laughs> massages I have in back here? Um, I was just like, oh, oh, fuck. This, it hurts to bend down. Mm. It hurts to sit down. It hurts. And, you know, I was trying to do the, <laughs> people were like, people were like, this is, this is record-breaking precipitation of dry January. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like there are mudslides. So I'm over there at this point and I'm just doing like cat cows to stretch yeah. out my back while like crying and drinking a martini. <laughs> like all I had yeah, was like Advil liquid mini gels or something. <laughs> and like, you know, I'm weird. I, I've never taken a painkiller in my life. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, okay, this hurts, but surely I just did something weird and uh-huh. I'll be fine. I woke up the next day and I like, I, I couldn't get out of bed. What I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, there was nothing that was, there was nothing that was comfortable. Nothing. I like, I texted Mary to yeah. come walk the dogs because I couldn't even do it. Shit. Because I started to get up and I was like walking like the Tin Man. Yeah. But then I was like, I can't, pick, I can't bend down to pick up poop. To pick up poop. Yeah. And so I just kind of, I laid in bed from like 2 p.m. on. Fuck. I, and it like hurt every time I like kind of moved ah. and then i was like what is going on and sweet our friend claire's husband was like he's had a bunch of back problems so he okay. was texting me being like what are the symptoms okay yeah. I, was, I was gonna see claire the next day he was like i'll bring my sciatica pillow <laughs> and like the best ice pack ever and i was like thanks i'm just hoping and he was like whatever you do though like don't work out too early because that's True. what like fucked my back too early L- no as in like just because oh, you think your back you... feels okay, gotcha. like don't go back and try to do it, and yeah. then like you make it worse. <laughs> I thought it was like if you wake morning. up at if you work out at six a.m., you're gonna hurt your back. Do you know how much I wish someone would say to me, "Morning workouts <laughs> no. can are dangerous." Are dangerous. No, oh no. my god, avoid at all costs. It would help my conscience so much. But so anyway, so then on Friday, same thing. I could walk a little bit, and then it started hurting at like uh. two. I went to my friends to write, and I came home, stayed home all night. Saturday, I like went and did a thing for an hour. Stayed mm-hmm. up, and like I'm normal now, but it's yeah. still like after I walk about two blocks, it starts hurting. Weird. So and you I- have to go to the doctor. At what point, this is the adult conundrum, at what point does it become I need to outsource to a specialist? Yeah, well, at what point does it go injury or old? Right, that's what I mean, how we entered the era, because I can tell that 
if I sit strange on the couch, mm-hmm. it definitely fucks with my back oh, after totally. a certain hour. I need to like readjust constantly because sure. like I'll get high and cuddle into the couch <laughs> and watch TV. Barnacle. Yeah, and I'm just a full soft pretzel. <laughs> and then I go to walk Ooh. to bed and I'm like, uh, I've broken all of my <laughs> vertebrae. Someone call an- aunties or Auntie Anne's. Yeah. We've got a soft pretzel to sell. Um, no, yeah, it's a, a thousand. I mean, you know, I never go to the doctor, but then also it's same with like Chip. Chip's like yeah. something in my back's been hurting for months and i'm like what are we why don't we do anything about this um no but so that was crazy yeah i've never had anything like that and so i'm getting better but i haven't been able to work out and i was like on a roll yeah 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 what do you have and to then do I, like the heat and the ice and the all the switch she's hot and she's cold baby right. <laughs> not just a person i used to be a fan of Katy perry oh. um yeah so i've been doing a lot of couch time with the dogs but I think I told you. Oh, last time we recorded an episode, how I got a bigger couch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Happened. Like I was doing the Pee Wee Herman in my living room. Yep. That honestly could not have been timed better. Perfect. I was going to say, <laughs> are you you should take the dog's heating pad. It's already oh, set up are you for kidding? you. <laughs> I probably had 10 people say, do you want a heating pad? And I was like, <laughs> have you seen the animals that live in this house? I've got, if I, the only thing I have is heating pads. So yeah, I've had like Larry at my knees, beans at my back. Just, Little heating pads. Just uh, heating pads with a heartbeat, if uh, you will. It's been crazy. Well, welcome to adulthood. Wait, but speaking of, mm-hmm. and then I'll tell you my um, Pilates story in a few minutes. Yeah. I was looking because you went to Palm Springs this past weekend Mm -hmm. and I saw Elliot Instagram story Mm -hmm. and you were doing yoga behind him. I didn't Uh, know if it was going to be a a bit you guys were doing. I didn't know he was filming me. Uh, Good for you for doing it in the same room. I would be too embarrassed. Okay, this I I am embarrassed every time. Um, But I was like, I'm just doing it here. Uh, We got used to over the holidays when we were traveling. I was trying to do yoga to like just calm my nerves and just like work out a little bit in a small room before the hanging out with everyone. Um, and yeah, I've been trying to do it a little bit more here and there. I'm pretty bad at it, Yeah, me uh, too. but I'm getting, I think I'm getting better, but it not enough to feel confident to like go to a class or anything like right, that. Right. Right. Um, right. I find it very nice to do at home, uh, by myself. Now, are you doing it like, do you have a guidebook or a YouTube video or are you really just freestyling? I had asked a while ago <laughs> on the podcast for Rex, I think a year ago around this time. And Nick, who edits our episode, yeah. shout out Nick, recommended uh, Down Dog the app. And I love it. Whoa. Non-spawn, wish we were. Because you basically plug in. Get us that sponsorship, Gray. You just plug in the time that you want to do it for and like the oh. type of like yoga, like aerobic or like light stretching or uh, a bunch of different options. I just do like aerobic 20 minutes. So it's a Ooh. little bit more intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quicker. Yeah. So I think if I went to a class, I'd be like, this is taking forever. Totally. <laughs> it's so different than mine, which is oh, in man. and out. Um, but yeah, Elliot recorded and then. Obviously, he asked permission. I said, whatever, oh, go ahead. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you really got to set those boundaries with each other because uh, both of us don't necessarily enjoy secretly filming each other, <laughs> nor do I want that to be uh, something that happens right. in our relationship that now I need to be worried at yeah. any moment. <laughs> to- no, I get it. If I, w- if I secretly film Chip, I would absolutely go, can I put this on my Instagram and oh, not yeah. just do it. Oh, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, for sure. We've uh, we've both like kind of established that. When it comes to Valentine's Day, you can keep your sexy lingerie or your bouquet of roses. This girl right here wants candy. I don't care if it's a heart-shaped box filled with mystery chocolates or those little candy hearts with messages that are going to break your teeth or just some like, ooh, some like champagne gummy bears. I love them all. And that's why I am loving Native's new limited edition candy shop collection. Like, all native products they are thoughtfully formulated to keep you feeling and smelling deliciously fresh all day long you know native they're the aluminum free deodorant native keeps their ingredients list bare naked oh talk about sexy time they have ingredients like coconut oil shea butter and baking soda and they check a lot of deodorant boxes 72 hour odor protection naturally derived ingredients and smooth residue free application because you're not trying to slip on your sexy black dress and then have white streaks all down it native also offers a variety of scents with new and my favorite limited edition scents released all the time you're going to smell amazing all day thanks to their long lasting scents and whether you like to smell 
spicy or woodsy, sweet or clean or fresh, Native has a scent option for everyone. Right now, I am absolutely obsessed with their limited edition. They have got the Candy Shop Collection Gummy Bears, okay? Strawberry and vanilla taffy and sour berry belt. You guys, I'm obsessed. I got the strawberry and vanilla taffy because I'm obsessed with all things strawberry smelling and I love it so much. It works into a beautiful lather with the body wash. The deodorant is like, it smells so nice and sweet, but not like I'm going to be bending down and licking my armpit. Although I have been tempted. Okay. You know, your deodorant's good when someone gives you a compliment on it and baby it did, but it doesn't just smell well. It works well. Okay. You know, I've been trying to go exercise a little more and I've got strawberry and taffy delicious armpits to accompany me to Pilates. And now is the time to switch from antiperspirant to native. So when you visit their site, you can discover all of these scents and maybe even try out one of the body washes while you're at it. So Right now, go to nativedo.com slash teamgw or use promo code teamgw at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's nativedo.com slash teamgw or use promo code teamgw at checkout for a sweet 20% off your first order. You guys, give it a shot. You have never had such whimsy in your deodorant. Also, I got my hair cut. I know. I'm sorry. We went Lots straight of, into craziness. I literally, I've already okay. gotten used to it. No, because I forget that I got it cut. I literally told my mom today because I forgot. that I, like, I was like, oh, I haven't. Yeah, but like- you also told your mom you're getting married like 36 hours fair. before. So like, I think, I think the Bob. No, it's so funny because my first note on my notes for this podcast is, is Bob exclamation point. And then as you were setting up the camera, I was like, who's Bob? Who's Bob? <laughs> I was He's trying. on my shoulders now. Uh, how are you feeling? I love it. It I, looks great. You, I, it looks it looks young, thanks. fresh. Yeah, Carrie. I love Carrie that cuts uh, our hair. Shout out Carrie. Shout out Carrie. Shout out to everyone that does anything involving my life. Um, and I forgot that uh, I've had short hair. I was super nervous when I woke up at first, and I was like, "Oh, right." Did you think you act like it I was, was like, missing? "Am I gonna get nervous and be like, can you just trim a couple inches and not go for the whole thing?" But then I was. Like let's just do it. Hair grows, like we talked about last week or hair the week grows. before. And it's just hair. Is, it's I believe hair. is what we it's said. It's just hair. It's just hair. <laughs> That's our really shitty hair care line. <laughs> it's just fucking hair, man. <laughs> yeah, and it was super nice. And then before I knew it, she had cut it, and I was like, oh, okay. I didn't even have a chance to really like freak out about this. It looks awesome. It has uh, dramatically decreased the drying time, which I appreciate mm-hmm. very much. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I just forget how to style short hair. So that will be a bit of uh, getting back into figuring that well, out. At least at some point you've known. Yes. Yeah, I don't point- know how to. I just turn on a, a hot iron and a pray for, and I just kind of <laughs> I like just like kind of give it like little kisses. Yeah, that uh, that was the kind of nice thing with long hair. I felt like you would I get don't know a, what to do. You could get away with not really doing anything, but it seems like you've really mm-hmm. done something to it. So short hair, I think, needs a little bit more attention, but we'll get there. You're looking good. Thanks. Yes. Oh, I never I don't think you told us how Avatar in 4D was. Oh, yes. Okay. Tell, tell us this. Um, I think I said this on our Patreon. So we okay. went and saw Avatar in 4DX. Which I still have not gone to. The oh, last you one him. you went to was so Dune. Dune. So silly. So 4DX. Well, I have to wait till my back heals. Yeah, now. yeah you shouldn't go. <laughs> It'll either fix you or break your back completely. Because <laughs> this one, the only reason that I was able to sit through the entire yeah. three hours of a movie that was, you know, an hour, hour and a half too long was because the chairs were shaking oh. me awake the whole time. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say edibles, but yeah. Well, yeah, that too. Uh, it was great. There was like, Maybe eight people in the theater. Really? Which made it like sad and hilarious and very silly. And uh, how is it break? How is Avatar breaking so many records? And like when they're like, it's already recouped $59 trillion. And I'm like, I know four people who've seen it. I know. And I don't think people know. Like, to I'm going see- to see 80 for Brady on opening day. <laughs> but Avatar, who gives a shit? I know. And look, we had no. Uh, nothing was on our to-do list to see Avatar. I had no interest in seeing it yeah. un- until we saw that it was available in 4DX. So it's like going on a ride yes. while you see this film. Uh, I don't think I would have seen it otherwise. I haven't seen the first Avatar. 
didn't watch it before oh, we right. went, uh, which is fine. You did d- they did they lead you in, or you just were like, I just I I bet kinda, I, other people know what's happening. I've I've heard I've like heard summaries enough about the first yeah. one to get the gist, um, but it was very silly. They at one point um, had bubbles. Enter into the theater, fell Stop from the it. ceiling. Stop it! Fell from the ceiling, but it was oh my God. it was maybe just like thirty bubbles, and that was it. <laughs> and then like three of them just hung out for a while afterwards, and my high brain was just fixated on these three like bubbles. soap bubbles, <laughs> soap bubbles. Okay, I was just like. I don't know if this was an accident that if these were supposed to come out, but now there's just three of them that haven't left yet. And now all I'm doing is looking at these bubbles. Oh my God. And then this family, there was like maybe five people in the theater, including us when we first got there. And then it started. I was like, really, this is all there is. These are all the seats they yeah. sold. And then this. Well, you like, went on like a Wednesday too, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then this like, Look at family, me defending Avatar. I know. <laughs> this family <laughs> of four comes to sit in the front row seats. Not front row, the front of this like section of seats. Yeah. But they have like beers and popcorn and they're sitting down no! as the seats are moving all around <laughs> and they're just spilling shit everywhere. <laughs> I was dying i was dying i was eating my popcorn furiously but there was wait do they not give you proper lids for those chairs like i would want to fully like lawless it's lawless oh my god uh but they do before like the movie starts after the billions of hours of uh you know trailers that you see for it there's a fuck ton of uh movies about marvel and the universe is coming out if oh you well need i'm to- excited <laughs> about ant-man yeah that one looks great uh but there's like four others that look similar to yeah, that movie that course. are all coming out now too uh they they do give you like a little pre uh pre-roll before the movie starts explaining. so like explaining what 4dx are there, is are there seat belts no there's no seatbelts and i, I probably forgot. am asking you every question i asked you last time you went but no, i don't care i forgot until we got there and then i was like here we go this thing doesn't give a shit <laughs> and they punch you in the back every time they're fighting i really yeah. might need to go so <laughs> i i took an advil when i got home from are this you movie. See, i do not need to go <laughs> you don't but they also <laughs> wow. they release scents and odors and there was just this one funky smell that they kept infusing was it during the a love scene no it was for every time they're in the water and i was like this smells like the inside of a lizard tank right now like oh, the whole thing no. the first time they did it i was like surely this can't happen again during this movie and then it was like every no. time it was so ridiculous See, the smells is where i just realized i can't take chip on a date to one of these no because yeah. his nose is so Oh. sensitive i don't remember dune having odors like this but i think i w- might have been overwhelmed by just the experience as a whole and didn't register it this one that odor was potent from start to finish and it was just that one smell over and over it was just that one smell that i could detect i don't have the great sense of smell so i don't know maybe it was great to other people Shit, oh halfway through it elliot was like i just can't get into this movie <laughs> i was like i know babe me either but like we gotta ride this out <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did Elliot want to bail? Yeah, he wanted to leave. And we have become really great at leaving situations that we've like paid to go be part of that we're like, mm, we're good. We're Well, good. I saw okay, sorry to jump topics. Yeah. Hey, now I wanna I both will really want to do this and don't, but it's almost like I wanna go to the same war as you, just so I can be like, you're right. That smell. Yeah, well, now I wanna see what upcoming films are in 40X because oh, yes, it's really it silly. If you have the opportunity to do that in a town by you, I don't know if this is like a new phenomenon, but it's kind of the only way that I want to leave my house to go see movies. Mm. Because otherwise I'm like, I just want to, I'd rather be at home watching a movie unless they're going to shake my chair around and punch me in the back. Now normal (laughs) movies, it it feels so boring. Like I'm kind of the same way. Well, you know, I'm a loyal Stubbs member at AMC. Nice. uh, Which just... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> after you just told us this story about your blowing out your back <laughs> you tell us that you're a loyal Stubbs member I'm a loyal Stubbs member at AMC but I will say I got into Alamo Draft House which yeah. is you know like they straight up have a wait staff that yeah. you can order queso dip yeah. and cocktails and stuff and there was a minute there where we were going there quite a bit and I was like I'm supposed to go to a theater and not have right. 
a drink brought to me every 20 minutes that's why we love how do i pick that's why we don't go to like regular movie saying. theaters and then until this one well i don't know i can't see what's uh, oh all movie shows i was trying to see what was coming up for 40x Ugh. because i kind of do want to go you with you go for the first time because the tickets aren't that expensive i don't remember elliot bought them but i remember the first time being like oh these aren't more than like a regular movie ticket right so you gotta go just to experience it and worst case just bail <laughs> be like you know what not for me i got it i got jostled around my popcorn fell well, all over me ant-man is coming <gasps> see that and one 40X. okay that one we should all they better not make me feel like some ants are crawling <laughs> on me <laughs> no there was okay the one thing i don't remember from i don't Dune, like the, i don't like the animal so touch there was clearly some like uh piece of wire between my legs no, that would flap see? back and forth and that no. that brought me right back to a, a stored memory of honey i shrunk the audience yeah yeah which we've talked about yeah. where the hamster get loose and that part i didn't like i was like oh every time like their tails are moving and stuff that you'd hear feel the little whipping like i might throw up forth. i might throw up <laughs> that um, part i was like memory can't do this well, because you know <laughs> that i have been like my biggest fear realized yeah. was going to see couples retreat <laughs> <laughs> at like two o'clock mm-hmm. on a tuesday in the movie theater that was by your old apartment in brooklyn <laughs> the pavilion or whatever and going and bringing a 40 yeah and then there just being one other like two guys like this couple a couple of seats behind me and a fucking mouse yep. going past which also you know we've talked about this as well like if i was a mouse Hell yeah, I'd live in a movie theater. Oh my God. I mean, I, as someone who also has a note about, let's talk about stovetop popcorn in her notes right here. <laughs> <laughs> as someone who has really gotten back into popcorn. Oh, me too. Oh, I'm I, so into popcorn that's now. That's all I could think about going to this 40X movie. I was like, I'm going to get the biggest popcorn they yeah. have. And I literally was like a child with a big tub of popcorn on my lap, just oh, like yeah. kicking my feet. being like, <laughs> I can't wait till the bubbles come out. <laughs> kicking my feet. Um, No, but so that mouse came and I got on the chairs and I oh. walked across the chairs and I said to the other couple, there is a mouse down there. <laughs> and I, I had a 40 and I, I always get, something always happens when I open alcohol in a theater. But anyway, <laughs> um, I have started, correct me if this sounds familiar, hmm. I'm making popcorn in a Dutch oven. Yeah, nice. I, I felt like an American girl doll. Like I've seen <laughs> other people do it and I was like, there's no way it's that simple. Yeah. I've started doing it. It's, amazing grace because uh, you know i don't have a, a, a microwave. microwave and yeah. i was just so like popcorn hasn't been a, on my radar ever except when i'm somewhere that has it yeah so i like one night i did it the other night and i did everything bagel seasoning and parmesan yeah, yeah. but i two things mm-hmm. i just got this seasoning from trader joe's that's ketchup flavored you know what? how they have those like ketchup potato chips in, in other countries Canada. Yeah. yeah so it's ketchup powder it's amazing and then i just ordered pickle seasoning what so i'm gonna make pickle popcorn oh, i'm gonna make pickle popcorn that's such a great idea i've been having popcorn almost every night but like smart pop or like hot pop no like extra movie theater butter like really? extreme movie theater <laughs> butter <laughs> or, or like it pops like, two kernels and it's just <laughs> it's a squeeze tube yes, like a gogur just a, a package of Velveeta. <laughs> just like chia seeds uh i love popcorn Me too. i feel like it is the perfect late night snack oh my god i have it almost every i had it down in palm springs i left yeah. a bag behind to oh whoever my. rents the house bless <laughs> okay so like m- m- yeah, move over soft pretzels hey popcorn we think is now the biggest it's, snack trend it's currently. coming for you and if it's not it's fine it's big in my house and that's about it oh wow yeah i've been eating the shit out of it and okay second little note that has to do with food yeah guys I really appreciate you. Anyone who DMs us thinks we like and are funny and all that jazz. But like, I don't want to be a driver for the Wienermobile. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no further plans with the Wienermobile besides when I tracked it down via windshield note and uh-huh. got to be on it. I don't, I'm not trying to like leave my life. To drive not yet amongst the college freshmen. But you gotta know that the opportunity is out there for you. If I had a dollar for every DM that uh-huh. someone was like, go drive it. Yep. 
I would honestly, I would retire. <laughs> How from could this we podcast. podcast? We couldn't. We could You'd not. have to retire I from the podcast because we couldn't podcast anymore. I couldn't. <laughs> oh my god. No, that's uh, appreciate all of the uh, influx of Wiener Mobile related articles and yeah. news pieces. Um, but like, but let's that, diversify. It's, not my, goal. it's not my goal to drive it. Let's diversify the DMs. <laughs> also, I like just got confident parallel parking my car. Mm, yeah. I'm not trying to no, park the wiener mobile. I should not be paid to drive. No. No, no one should be rewarding me financially for driving. If I drove Uber for one day, mm-hmm. I would like I would already be banned. I just have that the same with like going to a Pilates class and feeling like I don't know how to do it because other people are here. Mm. That's how I would feel driving with other people. <laughs> I know how to do this, I swear, yep. but I'm fucking up because I'm nervous <laughs> because you guys are here. This new year, you've got goals and factors here to help you achieve each and every one of them. Fuel up fast with ready-to-eat, nutritious meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. Achieve and maintain your 2023 goals with Factor. Get America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit and start saving time, eating well, and living your best year yet. If you're too busy to cook with Factor, skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. No matter your lifestyle, Factor has delicious flavor-packed meals to help you live it to the fullest with keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, each meal has all of the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long. With 34 chef-prepared, dietitian-approved weekly options, there's always something new to try, plus you can round out your meals and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 36 plus sweets, smoothies, juices, and more more satisfying add-ons. If you want to cut back on takeout, get Factor. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. If you're eating vegan or veggie, it's a snap because each meal is prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. You know that your Factor meal has all of the ingredients that you want and nothing that you do not want. And if you're looking to mix it up, you can add a protein to your select vegan plus veggie menus each week. Get Factor and enjoy eating clean clean without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash TMGW50 and use code TMGW50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code TMGW50 at factormeals.com slash TMGW50 to get 50% off your first box. Wait, I have a segue. Yeah. Speaking of wieners and Pilates. Mm-hmm. Oh, Gracchi. Where is this going? Okay. Before I pulled my back out. Yeah. So this was the Monday. My back started hurting Wednesday night. Yeah. So these aren't connected. I don't think. But I, um, no, no, no. This was the Friday before. So it definitely wasn't from that. I was like, I signed up for an early Pilates class. Was mm-hmm. gonna uh, was going to meet uh, Jacqueline, and the night before, my friend Steve came over, and we were just go- oh, we were gonna watch uh, an old movie. We were gonna watch All About Eve because okay. I'm trying to watch more classic movies. Yeah, and we weren't gonna drink, and I was gonna like cook dinner, and it was gonna be real chill, right? Super cute. And then of course, on the way over, he's like, "I assume we're not drinking," and I was like, "I could go either way," <laughs> and he was like. <laughs> fine let's he was like let's do it we haven't like caught up since before christmas and i was like fine (laughs) so oh we tied one on like like tied tied and you know like this is one like hog tied one on (laughs) (laughs) fully it got weird like some japanese (laughs) snm tied it on and so like fully you know like oh no now it's like 1 a.m and i'm still looking at tiktok and i've got an 8 a.m pilates and i'm like i'm like i haven't drank water since 4 p.m and i'm like oh no this is bad so of course i i wake up and it's like a seven and Mm -hmm. the class is at eight so i i text jacqueline a total lie and i just go like oh man i had such insomnia I really, I think I've slept maybe two hours. And this Hoping someone, to get the out. This is someone that you have worked out with before. Furiously hungover. Furiously hungover. <laughs> so anyway, she goes, oh, I hate to hear that all caps lock. See you in an hour, bitch. <laughs> and I was right. like, oh no, this is like awful. Like yeah. I was like, 
She's keeping you accountable. I was like laughably like, I don't know how I can physically yeah. do this because a good amount of it is like now stand on the edge of this thing and balance. No. And I was just like, if it's one of those kind of classes or if it's class where like, and now we're planking for 10 minutes. I was like, I will throw up. Yeah. Like I went there with like a huge mug of coffee, uh. which you're not really supposed to bring because you don't want like people to have to smell your <laughs> vanilla coffee. And it's just so much more dehydrating. For I know. You. Well, I br- also brought a water, but I was like, <laughs> I mean, I was like, go in and giggling. And I yeah. was just like, this is Go, I'm going to throw up or I'm going to start <laughs> laughing or I'm going to cry. Like those are. I'm going to make a scene. <laughs> yes. Well, but so anyway, it's not that it's not that cold, but it's a teacher I hadn't had before. And she's just wearing still a full parka, like a like fully down to her knees parka. Right. Parka. So I walk in. I say to Jacqueline, I'm like, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I sit beside her. And then the teacher's like, um, so everyone, we're going to, you know, like start on your backs. Uh-huh. You're going to take the, the foot loops, put it around. And let's just start with some like big circles with your legs. And the way she's like talking and being like, Hey, Hey, Leslie, whatever. Like you can tell like these people come to her class on They're the same regulars. morning. Yeah. yeah. So then I, I tone out. And then first thing I hear her say, as we're just going, she just goes, so yeah, to, to, to uh-huh. a couple, a little group. She goes, so yeah. So I go to this dating thing last night. And this guy I'm hitting it off with goes, can I get your number? I reached over and touched his penis and then said, yeah, I guess so. Me me and Jacqueline look at each other and go, I burst out laughing at full volume. And she turns to me in her full parka, like her whole body. And she goes, I know I was a mess last night. And I go, what? So anyway, she goes, yeah, I touched this guy's penis. On purpose, not an accidental I reached, brush. I reached over and touched his, <laughs> as in like, let me see how big your dick is before I agree to give you my number. Oh my God. Right? So one of her regulars goes, that's assault. <laughs> <laughs> me and Jacqueline, are, I mean like, and I'm still drunk. So I'm like, what is it happening? And you were right? like, I thought I was going to be the one. <laughs> Yeah, in I this thought, class I making was people uncomfortable i thought i was the mess and so then and then she goes oh it was so bad she goes when i tell you i woke up on this on my couch this morning still wearing my leather jacket <laughs> this is the teacher she I goes she goes shoes were off face full of makeup still wearing a whole leather jacket leather jackets aren't made for comfort ladies we're going to move back into like a full <laughs> We're going to move. And like, she is still just every 60 seconds, the moves. So she's just like, now, you know, I want you to like scissor scissor your legs while holding your like abdomen up. And so every time she goes into Pilates mode, she's like very, no, like together. And she was just like, can you believe it? Like, I, I I don't even remember it last night. She was like, it was so bad. She goes, oh. you know, sometimes I go over to uh, Bar Bricks, which is a restaurant that has wine. Uh-huh. She goes, I just get so loaded over there. <laughs> she goes, she goes, <laughs> they know we have a code. We have a code that if I say, oh, I think I think I need to bring some pizza home for my roommate. They know that just means for me when I'm drunk later. <laughs> and she, I mean, <laughs> this is a person who's giving us, right? And so she's killing me. And then someone else later in class, is, is talking about like uh well well how is class going she goes well i just had a final on microscopes so me and jacqueline are like is this woman what? in med school what i realized i'd taken her one other time do you remember when i was there and there was a woman who was like ladies who's coming across the street to drink wine with me at yeah. the gelson's bar yeah it was her i was like this this woman i was dying laughing wow. and she like loved it because i was being like i feel your girl you know what <laughs> I mean? you have literally red wine pouring out of your veins <laughs> she's like smelling me like oh is it a tuscan chianti oh my um, God. yeah so but there's wow. nothing like going to class fully giddy hungover and the first thing the teacher uh. says is so i reached over and grabbed his dick and said yeah you can have my number I was like, wow. you are a legend. A renaissance woman. Look, at she, she can do it all. Yeah. I mean, halfway through the class, she goes, and I'm not taking off this jacket, guys. <laughs> I know. It's She's underneath a, is just her she, leather jacket. She, she, she was either naked in her like full like business clothes from the yeah. day before, or she was just one of those modes where she was like, I need to wear a blanket. Yeah, I get it. Oh, oh man. So anyway, what I would huh. want to say to you is, while well, a lot of people you go in there and it's like, hello, I'm Olga. I'm zero percent body fat let's yeah. get to work this girl 
this girl was just like find out who that is because i'll go take her, one of oh, her, her name classes. is angie okay i'm, I'm, I'm strictly angie <laughs> angie's list i want to be on angie's yeah, yeah. list <laughs> i mean last time i used angie's list uh there was a woman drinking remember a uh, truly in our backyard while we got our pool power washed <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, that is a questionable I mean, list. If they ever come to us and they're like, oh, <sighs> Angie's List would like to buy ad space on your podcast, I'll be like, good luck. Good luck, Angie. Being taken serious, Ange. Oh, my man. babe. So, yeah, so that was hilarious. I will gladly take some Pilates from Angie. <laughs> I mean, she's a legend. I got to hear what her dating life updates are. Truly. Um, Balancing school. Uh, teaching she can do it all grabbing dicks how does she have that much time to drink that much wine <laughs> all day long and then also you could tell that they knew like she knew everyone yeah because th- i realized later the woman who was like that's assault angie <laughs> and she was talking about something and she goes blah, blah 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 maybe i can't see right well however she's an eye doctor she would know <laughs> so she like knew everyone's profession <laughs> this whole class is just a big zoc doc they're just, <laughs> yeah, just like oh we just come here to hear about this fucking hot mess <laughs> That's what I want to do. Yeah. That's so how she perfect. should advertise it. Oh, man. Um, did you know that there's a Pez documentary on Netflix? Yes. The, is, we the watched Pez, it. The Pez. Pez Outlaw. I've only watched half of it because when my mom came to visit for one day. Oh, yeah. yeah. We started to watch it. And yeah. then we got like an hour in. And my mom was like, I'm pr- going to probably just rewatch this in uh, Australia with your brother. Your brother would like this. Oh, yeah. So I meant to pick it back up and watch the rest of it. It gets a little sad towards the end. Oh, it always does when it's a sweet man with yeah. a hobby, with a beard. Yeah. Uh, who calls himself the Pez Outlaw. Wild story, though. We just happened upon it on Netflix, and we were both, Elliot and I were like, how the hell did we miss this? It well, came out last year, I, I think. feel like we, I feel like you and I briefly at some point talked about the actual news story. But, yeah. but the doc, we hadn't seen the doc or it hadn't come out. But I remember one of us being like, a guy made this much money off smuggling Pez. Yeah, it's, I mean, if anything, it's really interesting because everyone's like a cartoon character in it. Yeah. Um, But just the whole world of like collectibles and specifically no. Pez collectibles is wild to me. It's, I was like, yeah, ten thousand dollars for one. It's crazy. I have. I don't have a collector's mindset. I at had all. this. Ent- I had this whole conversation. Yeah. On Saturday, when I actually, when I actually did something, even though, <laughs> even though I was, you know, a little hobbling over, I went to a, a Beastie Boys exhibit. I had oh, yeah. tickets for, so I still like got my culture on. I'm still sticking to that um, resolution. But um, I was talking about this documentary uh, with our friends, and I was like. I don't collect anything. I don't think. Like, no. do you collect? No, I, mean, I, I don't. Collect, I have a, I have a bounty of bullshit. I know. But I don't collect. A, <laughs> I don't collect a specific I thing. I got a bunch of random stuff yeah. that I'm constantly trying to downsize on. But I don't have a collector's mindset. I don't have no. like a, my precious kind of thing, no. and, and like need to get more of certain things. It also is same with like we watched the Beanie Babies documentary last mm-hmm. year. The whole world of like what the the fervor, the fervor, and like how certain things become more desired and the price points of things blows yeah. it's very interesting and blows my mind well i guess i've never i've never bought something with the intention that it could be worth more later no me like either. i only, only a house maybe yeah. <laughs> that's it <laughs> uh, yeah exactly i don't like buy things that i don't specifically want to use right then right you know what i mean yeah. like uh i'm i never try to like make money off things like that and like not in the same way but like chip collects discs like sure. for but he uses them right but, and i was talking in that convo i was like i mean i guess i collect records but i wouldn't say that because i wouldn't say someone collects books right because that's no. like a thing they use yeah, it feels yeah. like an inanimate object is a collector's item. yeah when you can't when there's no like practical use for it yeah. and it's merely just like for the notoriety of adding to a collection as a whole i mean the the documentary is interesting because it does highlight a lot of like mental health challenges oh. from a lot of different angles. Okay. Uh, which is interesting. And, you know, I guess not expected when you're looking at the Pez outlaw and then you're right. like, Oh, this is kind of a profile on like his own mental health, which I think is interesting. And like how these tokens and these totems like give people purpose and like meaning for sure. That part's interesting because I don't have that like aspect in my life. I don't have, like I'm not, waiting for something to come out 
like whether it's a movie or an item or like something that I'm like, I can't wait. I'm mm. going to be on the list to get these things. I, it's just like so foreign to me, which is why it's interesting. But uh, yeah. you should finish it. It's OK. A, I need it's to finish a fun, it. easy documentary. It's very sweet at times. Well, our friend Dave. Yeah. Because we were talking about like, well, what would I collect? Like, what would what would it be? There's things I think are cool. And like he was like, I can see myself getting into like train sets when I'm older. Like, you know ah. how people have, like, whole-ass towns in their basement? Yes, 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 yes. That, I think, is pretty cool. That, yeah, miniatures in that whole world is pretty... Because then that's, like, you're creating... Takes crea- up space. That's also... He's an artist. That feels very, like, you're creating yeah. a whole scene. I think, I, like, the only thing that comes to mind is, like, maybe crystals would be something. Oh! Because I like uh, taking it with a grain of salt of, like, the meaning Salt behind. is a crystal! Salt is a crystal right there. <laughs> Plus, it seems like they could not take up a lot of space. And some of them are just insanely beautiful. That's true. But I, it just seems like a lot of work mm. to do that kind of thing. So Also, that becomes, if you collect too many of them, mm-hmm. then it's like every time you move, you're literally just moving rocks. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could see I have a bunch. being like, I have, a, I have an amethyst throne. I amethyst. have a bunch that I immediately forget what they all are. Yeah. And I constantly, I downloaded apps to try and identify the rocks. Yoga and like apps, go, horoscope I, apps, crystal apps. We have access to too much information now yeah. as adults. No wonder we're all of anxiety and depression. But That the, is true. Uh, oh, la- um, we're towards the end, but I okay. just wanted to give a shout out. Eagles are going to the Super Bowl, oh, baby. Is that true? That's yeah, very exciting. Yeah, we know, I know. I don't care about sports, but I love when the Eagles win because Philly is such a wild town. Oh, well. And they're going to the Super Bowl. And it was very fun. We watched the game down in Palm Springs, which is just such a beautiful juxtaposition of like beautiful, Serenity. lovely, calm Palm Springs and me screaming at men I've never cared about Wait, up until now on is TV. The, is the other team determined or it's determined? Yeah, right? Who is the is it the team? Chiefs? Uh, it Look is. Amigo. Yeah, it's the Chiefs and the Eagles. And apparently there's two brothers that will be competing against each Stop other at the it. Super Bowl. So that mom has already won. Yeah. The Mannings. Is it the Mannings? No, it's not. How, how do some bloodlines ha- just produce two specimens that can um, both be good enough to go to Super Bowls. You I, know what I mean? I'm sure it's Jason and Travis Kels. Okay. I mean, it's just, a fa- I guess it must be a family thing. What a crazy Thanksgiving they're going to have they're, next year. That's going to be quite a time, but they're both succeeding. Can you imagine being a brother that pursued football, but didn't make it to the NFL? Or like uh, coding? <laughs> they probably have other <laughs> siblings that get into other they things. They absolutely <laughs> have a sister that's like, can we not talk about like what I'm doing sports wise? Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit at all. Um, here's uh, well, I know Rihanna is playing the halftime show. Right. So that's right. all I care about. And so I am I'm supposed to be flying to see Chip that day Ooh. in the Caymans, which, by the way, if anyone has a private jet or if any of our listeners work at the Department of Agriculture in the Cayman Islands, we got fucked over with by Larry today. It's been a day by Larry. No, for no. on behalf of Larry. bringing Larry to the islands. Uh, I've cried for about two hours before this podcast. Um, but so I'm going to be landing like right when the Super Bowl starts. So Ooh. I'm excited to like be sitting. I want to be sitting oh. at like an island beach bar watching Rihanna. Oh my like God. I'm not going to be where, you know, where she's from. I'm, yeah. You know, where's Trinidad and Tobacco? No, Barbados. Sure. She's from Barbados. Um, I think. Yeah. Uh, but so I'm really excited about that because all Sweet. I care about is the halftime show. And like yep. Rihanna to me is just like Ugh. sex on a plate. I can't wait. I can't, I can't I f- wait. totally forgot she's doing the halftime show. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, I hope Philly wins, obviously, because that town celebrates in the most hilarious way possible. Yeah, but also keep it together, okay? If, <laughs> if we're not allowed to riot when some real shit goes down, yeah. then don't be fucking up your city because your oh, team won. They already okay? have. They already fell. My brother sent me a tweet of people just on top of like one of those um, bus covers and it just impl- like falling through Oof. completely. Oof. They celebrate hard. Full, a city full of passion. Should we have like a, you know how people have like Super Bowl po- like pools? Mm. We should have a pool just to about how many times we think they're going to cut to a close up of Quinta. 
<laughs> yeah, very true. Very true. She's got to be there. She, I know. I, I think she's been like, unless she's working, she's yeah. been at like the finals and stuff. And yeah. always goes like, I'm an elementary and Philly's right. own Quinta Bronson. Love I love to uh, see it. Love it. Oh, you Whew. guys. Yeah. I have so many more things. It's so funny. I do have more things to talk about because you and I both Save asked. Them. I know you and I both asked on Instagram, like, what should we talk about today? And then one guy just responded, why should we you're just gonna start a story and not answer anything yeah i love it i will be asking you guys every week because yeah. i do really appreciate all of the uh Me the, too. The, the prompts prompts and the answers um so if you hate it i'm sorry this it's is just our keep... little prompt pro <laughs> prompt proposal yes oh anyway Whew. i just reached over grabbed his dick and then i said <laughs> yeah you can have my number <laughs> this got weird 